friends welcome back to another episode of heart to palate today i'm going to share my very dear recipe which i i used to always make and we grew up eating that especially in this uh, winter season january uh, february mahina madhe jeva matar khup chan miltat market madhe and she used to always cook with all these seasonal items as i told you with previous recipes also so in this season you get surplus amount of fresh uh, uh, green peas which are matar so she used to make uh, matar patties and it used to be such a uh, enticing dish whenever she used to make and along with that she would make homemade uh, ketchup and that smell of that i still is in my mind it is uh, it's very nostalgic to me it's very brings uh, the childhood memories because that the smell of those uh, tomatoes boiling along with the f- um, uh, your cloves and you know that typical smell used to always linger around the house and with that the uh, ginger garlic paste smell when she used to make the stuffing for the matar patties that is very um, dear to me and it brings all of my childhood memories when um, i think about the matar patties and this winter season so i'm going to share the recipe the way she used to exactly make it so i've taken about 3 uh, cup full of um, fresh matar and then i've taken 8 potatoes so these are the size of potatoes this size potato i have taken so about 3 patties you can make out of this potato so the andaz is about 24 to 25 matar patties you can make out of 8 potatoes and i have boiled them already and as soon as they get boiled and the pressure falls down you have to make sure you mash them up because that's when the potatoes don't get clumpy and you know as a chikat vagare hot nahi glue gooey hot nahi so you have to make sure as soon as they get uh, get out of the uh, your pressure cooker you have to mash them up which i have mashed and kept it aside to that i have added about 2 teaspoon 2 and 1/2 teaspoons of salt and teaspoon of haldi and i'm going to add 4 to 5 slices of bread whichever bread stale bread you have you can add it that gives that binding nature to the outer covering of the patties and matar sathi the stuffing what i'm going to make is uh, i'm going to use a whole big onion finely chopped and to that we are going to add the fresh ginger garlic paste and green chili paste and about little bit of uh, uh, haldi and uh, red chili powder red chili powder is little less because the flavor of the matar patties is with the uh, green chili and fresh coriander and ginger garlic paste basically so we're going to start with the stuffing now and the bread crumbs to uh, cover the for the coating of your um, matar patties once you stuff them in and then you shallow fry them it's very easy and simple recipe i think most of the households in maharashtra household this is a very um, uh, commonly made recipe but this is very dear to me so i wanted to share this with you all for the stuffing for matar patties i've started with 1 and 1/2 tablespoon of uh, oil which is uh, heated already and i'm adding one big size onion finely chopped which i'm going to saute for about 5 to 7 minutes until it get nicely pink in color and softened Now it's been exactly seven minutes that I've been sauteing my onions. You can see it's nicely softened now, pink in color. I'm going to add the ginger garlic paste. It's about six teaspoons of ginger garlic paste. To that, I'm going to add six teaspoons of fresh green chili and coriander paste, and saute them until you get that nice aroma. You might feel this is a little extra or something, but believe me. You need that little zing to the matar patties. कारण बाकी काही तिखटपणा नाही आहे त्याला. So just saute this well until that you can smell the aroma. For about two to three minutes. So now the ginger garlic and green chili coriander paste has been sauteing along with the onions now. How I wish you could smell this aroma. It's amazing. to that i'm adding about teaspoon of haldi teaspoon and half of our red chili powder and teaspoon and half of salt you might have to add a little bit extra salt we'll see at the end and saute this for few minutes and then we are going to add our green matar or green peas and don't add water to this because you want the stuff into be a little dry only this could be the ideal thing for you to make for your haldi kumkum also since this is a uh, uh, sankranti season now so this could be the one of the dishes for your uh, sankranti haldi kumkum so now to 
this I'm adding green peas that I've taken. About three cupful. Sorted it then for about two minutes and then cover it with the thali and pour water over it so it will seep through the condensed water and it will cook on itself. It will take maybe they are very um, like you know tender curl, green peas. It won't take too long. So about 10 minutes I would say. Cover the pan and let it cook. And then your stuffing is ready. You so now you can see it's on medium flame. And I'm keeping the water over the lid now. And just let it cook for about 10 minutes. Your peas should be done. So the stuffing would be done in about 10 minutes. And then I'm going to show you how to make the outer covering of the matar patas. Pari chiban vajje tetsa pran papuya. So while the stuffing is getting ready, I've put the matar into my onion already for cooking. So I'm going to get the outer covering, which is pari apan banun vajje matar patas shi. So how do we batata chan ghetla ukunu? So chan masa mash karun ghetla with the masher like your pavaji smasher. You can use that as well. And Chan poison karun hai sir. Add salt to it and haldi. You are not adding any ginger garlic paste or anything to this because you have enough ginger garlic and green chili paste in your stuffing. So you don't want too much spice either. It has to have perfect blend of that uh, spiciness to the matar patas. To this I am going to add the bread slices now. Since I have taken 8 potatoes, I told you, I am going to use 4 slices of bread, like so, just cut them into small pieces like that, just hand tone like that, because that will give the nice binding to your covering, so they won't break when you are actually making the stuffing. And ikadza bread is quite soft, so you don't have to worry about the kada bida kada I am not taking off the edges at all. Likewise, and I'm going to have a cohesive mixture and keep this ready in the meantime while our stuffing is getting cooked. So I've taken about table tennis ball picture, thoda sa mota gora me a little bit bigger than your table tennis ball. Okay, so I've taken that size outer covering. I've taken oil on the side, so try to make a bowl out of it so that you can stuff it in. to stuff it with about two teaspoon of stuffing in this as you can see and just try to take it closer now it's a little tricky when you're trying to close this so be gentle and like so just stuff all the matar patas and then we are going to roll it in the we would roll these in the bread crumbs I am the butter I am the butter I am the butter that's a powder I am the powder and then she used to use that or toast one that is also fine so like so the matar patas is ready so I'm going to make the rest of it and I'll show you at the end. So these are the butter that I was telling you about that we eat with our chaha. These are the butters I used to crush and then use to roll her um, matar patties and shallow fry them. So now we get the ready made uh, bread crumbs which I'm going to use for rolling our uh, matar patties so I'm going to roll I've taken about a tablespoon of oil in this pan and I've started to heat it I'm going to roll each matar patties into these bread crumbs and shallow fry them Make sure both the sides are nice pinkish in color and you are ready to serve your matar patas with either hot and sweet maggi sauce or ketchup or 
कोथिंबीर मिर्ची वाली छान चटनी झणझणीत And I made about 24 pieces of matar patas with that amount of potatoes I showed you. I mean, some decent size matar patas are it. On medium flame, try to shallow fry the matar patas on both the sides, and I'll wait for about maybe five to seven minutes on each side, and they should be ready. It's time for it to be turned over. Let's see. Perfect. This is how the color you want. And start turning over slowly. In the order you started to put the thing, same way because that would be the first one that you put in. Get that. And then let it. Fry on about this side also for about five five minutes or so, and your matar patas are ready. Now you can see our matar patas are done. Both the sides I did about five minutes each, shallow frying them, and you can serve it with uh, pudini ki chutney or hot and sweet uh, ketchup, a Maggi hot and sweet sauce, and enjoy. So the matar patas, just the way my I used to make, are ready to be served. Uh, the recipe is in the description box below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hard to palate.